I'm getting to get straight over that gate. Oh yeah, yeah. Good. Look at my boots. I had to do it like that because they've gone now. Look, if you come from that way, if I'd come up this way, I wouldn't see them until I got up there. They're very young calves. Heifers, small cows. Normally I'd go up there. I'll go this way today. Oh, that's real mud. I knew there'd be one for the cows. That's where I normally go. I go up there, but you can go this way. I think it takes you right onto the road, that's all. And it doesn't look like there's any cows in here. It's very, very muddy. My shoes were lovely and clean a minute ago. I hope there's nothing around the corner there. Gorgeous scene everyone. Gorgeous isn't it? Well if we left West Bagra now, we're about to go on the Greenway. I bumped into a few other hikers, warned them of the mud. And apparently you're not allowed in through that gate anymore. Right, you're not allowed through there. Well I would have had to just climb over it if I wouldn't have known if I'd come up. Like I normally do, I'll come up that way you see. Anyway, we, we don't do this very often, don't you? No. We probably won't have to do it again for a while. Not up here. I wanted to do that little road, that's all. Yeah, do you want me? I want to do the road. Yeah, I met a girl who told me that it was either a road or a track. So, after the pub you just go across the river, go to, through the farm and then you can make a decision whether to do the road or a path. Oh, she said it could be muddy so it might be better to keep to the road. So this is the greenway everyone. Now what I remember about it I think there are some inclines like this every now and again. But it mainly hugs the Quantock Hills low down on the base and it also passes the uh, villages of Triscombe 
on the way to Croker. I think it goes much further actually. Now this is a junction point. See this junction point here? Now if you want to go to Lydiard Hill for a walk, you go that way, right? That'll take you up and then the trig point and everything. And then you head to so people I met, they're going to head in for the pub for a meal. And then they're going to do Stout Hill. And I said, you're going to do Stout Hill after having a meal. You should have done it the other way around, mate. The two women looked a bit worried then. Maybe they can pick us up, they said. They'd have to walk well. Yeah. Right, I'm just doing a video. This particular route, where I, what I'm on now, this bit, and quite a lot more of it, until I get to the the blue boar or the blue something pub. I've done that in the last two years, and then I climbed up Marrow Hill, and. Uh, Went to to Triscombe Stone area, then along the Great Avenue of Trees to Crocombe. Then I think I went on to Bicknoller. I'm not quite sure exactly. I'm not even sure if I got a bus from Triscombe. Yes, I think I did. remember it though. Like I said it's a bit undulating. I'm dying to have a drink. level out in a minute for quite a way actually and what I remember the second time I did it it didn't seem as long did it? no oh, you go. well it should go down a bit and then up Go down into a coombe. There's gorgeous views along this vale here. I don't know if you call it Town Vale. That was the name of the mental hospital once. But it could be. That vale could actually be Town Vale. I expect somebody sits here, puts her feet over, and looks out down there. Look, there's cows out round here now. Dunkery <sighs> Beacon will be right over there in the far distance. I don't know if we can see it. Minehead right over there on the corner there. I've done all that, I've walked all that, see. I'm just getting my breath back a bit and I'm going to have a drink and a bar of chocolate and some crisps as I walk. So I'll just keep it on for a bit longer. This is what happens, I keep it on for a bit longer. You should just stop there, Sheila, and have a drink. I want to go past this house because I watched some of the men doing various building parts of that house once. They were building a house out here. And I watched them and I thought that could be my Duncan doing that. My Duncan building his own home. He's talented enough to do it, you know. Duncan. 
And I'd love him to have a place like that, but I don't, and he wouldn't be bothered out in the middle of nowhere because as long as he had um, internet. Yeah, some people get the opportunities. Some people it's luck. Some people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth, as they say. So they don't have to do a lot to get it. Of course, those people that were born with a silver spoon have got no idea what it really is. They can imagine what it's like. Like, we have to imagine what it's like to be well off and rich and not have to worry about bills. We can only imagine it. They can only imagine what it's like without the emotion. Now, they can't really understand it to be poor. Like most of us are, really. We're poor, really. But not poor, poor. Yeah, I watched them build that. It does look a bit empty now, doesn't it? But the garden looks maintained. I just, I don't know, I just imagined Duncan building that. That's nice how they've done that. That's new. I can see the pipes coming out. Yeah. Directing the water down under their garden. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so here I am. I, can, I know I'm absolutely convinced my sister Jude would have done this walk. I reckon she would have done this. Definitely. Right, I'm going to turn off, take a picture. Right, folks, we've just emerged from this lovely little lane here. That leads up to that lovely house that Jack built, if you like. That my dunk would have built and could have done it. We just emerged from a muddy track. Now, for, for, for all I know now, I could be on track like this all the way to Crocom. She has told me there is a path after I get past the put near the pub there is a path she said there's a track you can take if you want to walk not on the road but it's not she said it's a very very little lane type thing that hardly anyone ever uses so I said to her I probably want to explore it because I like to know all the boundaries you know and uh, I also like to know like if I wanted to get back to Crocombe where there's a quicker route maybe you know if I wanted to come off the hills you know because I might still want to walk to Triscombe Stone and, and, and back somewhere so I know you'll be able to come off down his, this way somewhere it would save me having to do really West Bagborough Hill Stout Hill Although I would do it, I'd just take my time. The worst part of the walk is getting off the bus and walking, having to walk through the village, which takes forever. Anyway, I've just had some of these. A drink of uh, black currant juice for glucose. I've got another bottle of that. For that view, I've got a, um, a, um, a water with some sort of fruit in it, a fruit juice water. It could be lemon and lime, and I've got a plain water. So I've got I'm very very well topped up with fluids, even though it's not a hot day. Now when the summer comes. I will note it, I should probably bring two juices and three bottles of water. Because normally where I walk, where I walk, there's no chance of getting water. But I'm just breathing, I'm stood here now. I could, could climb straight up there if I wanted. Ticks will be out by the way. Ticks will be out. And I'm surrounded by absolute beauty, everyone. And in peace. Now, when I got on the train this morning, the 
carriage was packed with a whole group of people from somewhere. I think it might have been Gloucester or Bristol. They weren't going to the cricket, which I thought they might be. It was families. <clears throat> they were drinking alcohol, eating scones and cream and all sorts of other foods. Really enjoying themselves as if they were going on holiday down to Devon somewhere. The whole carriage, I had to sit in the carriage at the back. <laughs> but they were all so happy. Look at that view everyone, look at that view. Let me turn off and take a picture. 